Me and Ollie are fishing again, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So this weekend is our. Oh, this one just showed right over my bait. That baited, baited area. So Monday is our birthday, isn't it? Yes. Because those that don't know, Ollie was born on my birthday, mm. which is probably the best present I've ever had. Yes, I'm a good present. Okay, so we thought we'd come away this weekend fishing and I thought we'd come to a nostalgic place for me really, which is where I started carp fishing, which is a place called Welford Pools, isn't it? So we come down to Welford and who did we bump into in the car park? Alan Blair. We did, Alan Blair. So that was a good surprise for our birthday weekend, wasn't it? Mm. So got four tool with them. Yeah, he got four tool. But he doesn't speak like that, does he? <coughs> no, I'm just <laughs> saying. Why did you go all Yorkshire? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying it like that. Yeah, okay. So I thought it'd be nice for me and Ollie to come here. Because I think I was nearly his age when I first came here. Oh. But she said, she I can't said, remember because said I came. It was about 30 years ago. Yeah, but it was. And you're 42. The weekend I came here for the first time was when it was the weekend Princess Diana died so if you know that that's the year but I don't I've forgotten so I don't know we'll google it we'll google it so that was the weekend I remember it because my mum and dad dropped me and my nan off here um, just for a day that was when Jerry and Roz owned it um, but we've come back now because my mate Steve owns it, so uh, I thought it'd be really nice if Ollie could get one, get one out of here. That'd be cool to see. So having a good session so far, aren't we? What did we cook? Um, Cantonese sweet and sour chicken, was it? Yeah. With rice, that was nice. And pepper. Now we just pepper. sat out by the rods in the evening. Not going to make too much of a video session because we want to just enjoy the time here together for our birthday weekend. We've got little ducklings everywhere. They keep coming back. Yeah. So we're going to enjoy our weekend's fishing and we'll update you if we get anything. So this week on Ollie's Carpy Kitchen, what are we going to have? What are we going to have? Um, Cantonese sweet and sour sauce, rice and chicken, which is in there. Well, yeah, and a pepper. So we're going to see what we can make. So now it's time to put the rice in. So we're going to get that done because Ollie's going to take like five hours. Let's get cooking. Right, in goes the sauce. Go on then. In it goes. Over the chicken and the pepper. All of it? Yeah, get it all in there. Right. Is that enough? You want to get it all in? Yeah. Get it all in. That's it. Right, so we'll give that a good stir. Mm. Can you give it a stir? <coughs> wow. Give it a bit of a stir, make sure the chicken's covered.
was it like? create a bit of content because there's no fish coming out why don't elephants get caught hiding in trees why? because they're so good at it <laughs> why <laughs> why do elephants paint their balls red why? so they can hide in cherry trees <laughs> what is the loudest sound in the jungle giraffe eating cherries <laughs> <laughs> you got a joke for us then Oles? when you have crazy ones what's the difference between arguing with a vegan and a knife um I don't know the knife has a point <laughs> which <laughs> tracker right middle of the night update what have we caught Ollie bag all bugger all but we're fishing we're happy good night mm. bit of water over him mate <laughs> lovely one more lift okay Come on, then. keep going right under Sorry. I know you're a bit out of practice but hey very well done. Well done, Ollie. Birthday carp. Lovely. Well done. Amazing. Alright, go on then. I'll see if she'll go. And that's it. So she'll go after the two attempts. Go on. We caught, I mean, sorry, what have you caught? 24 pounder. 24 pounder. Lovely scaly one, wasn't it? Mm. So, are you happy? Mm. Shame it had a lifted scale. Yeah, but we treated it, didn't we? Mm. So, it's a good job you did catch her so we could treat the, the damage. Back she goes. Happy to fight another day. So, that's your birthday weekend carp then? No more? <laughs> you reckon you're going to get another, do you? Mm. Yeah, I probably think you do as well. Well, 92% chance. With you? Yeah. Biggest in the lake, I reckon. <laughs> anyway, so... Still time for another one. Mm. Oh, there you go, look, you're in already. Good. No. No. Oh. What a thirty. Birthday thirty. Ooh. Let's try and get her in the net then. Let's concentrate. Come on, let's see it. Where is it? Giving you the right run around this one, Oles. Is she ready? Oh, yes. That could be your 30, mate. Looks good. That could be your 30. How'd you feel? No. <laughs> I'm going to weigh this one up. Definitely a 30. Eight. 
SPD. 34 8 on his people. Very, very tired this morning because what time were we up? Five, five, five o'clock. and 11 o'clock and half ten. Yeah, and what did you catch? Tell everyone. A 24 pound mirror, was it? Yeah, scaly um, mirror. Yeah. And then uh, at five o'clock this morning, my new PV. 34 pound 8 ounces. Another mirror. Yeah, yeah. So we've got some really good uh, camera stills of that one, so we're going to pop them up. So that was a pretty epic fish, wasn't it, Olves? Mm. Fought like a demon as well on the uh, ever faithful Grimino. So yeah, if you're looking for a intimate water to come and fish, 2.30's in, check out Welford. Come to Peg 13. <laughs> Not everyone's as lucky as you, Ollie. Go. I know, but still, it's 13. Yeah, it is a nice up in the corner, out of the way peg. Um, I would recommend sort of setting back off the edge a bit and just let the fish come in. But we're going to get packed up shortly. Ollie's eating his porridge and we're going to get home for a, a birthday roast. Mm. Birthday roast. So I'll catch you later. Now well, the kids in again. Remember, don't pull his head off. <laughs> oh, he's off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well. Right, update time. What's happened? Lost it. We lost one. But you've had two crackers, so we're all packed up, apart from the rods. We're about to reel in and Ollie's left hander pulls up tight and unfortunately slipped the up that one but it wasn't as big as what you've already caught so not too dejected we've had a hell of a birthday session haven't we well you have <laughs> i've just sat here i've been your gilly netting your fish for you and taking the pictures which is fine that's what we want so unless something else happens in the next 10 minutes we're off so, as always, end of a session, we're packing up, packed up, just giving Ollie some casting practice. There's no one else fishing at this end of the lake anyway, so we're quite safe, not disturbing anyone. We're just going to see if we can get near that island over there, which is maybe 50 yards, 40, 50 yards. All right then, Ols, see what you got. Remember to watch the lead, not the island. The island's your target, and then you watch the lead. See it? Good. And trap. Oh, wow. Right, you need to be doing that every time. <laughs> so if that had a rig on it, you'd leave it there and probably get a bite. Good boy. Well done. That's not a line clip either. That's trapping it, isn't it? With your own hand, with your own eye. So that's really good. Well done. <laughs> 